I want to thank the organizing committee for inviting me. Okay. If the previous talk is about the microscopic mechanism of uh, speech generation, uh, my talk will be on the global uh, uh, mechanism of uh, dynamic evolution of the human mm -hmm. system. Okay. And this was done with the COVID. Steady properties by the beauty detection of the composting function and, uh, and uh, the dynamic properties will be described by the interdependent distribution of time duration function and the time continuous function. And finally, I will present the symmetric models describing the properties of the large network system. Then I'll briefly comment on the past. Three physics textbooks, three in Korean and uh, three in English. And uh, additionally, we also uh, analyzed uh, one physics dictionary. And uh, in case of uh, one of the textbooks, which is at the physics, uh, the number of sentences is about 10,000, and the uh, number of normal physics terms. This is required to uh, use for both construction and weighted network, but right now, here, I'm just focusing on the binary net without the weighting. So, to characterize the, the network structure, typically, we count the degree for each node, for example. And actually, this will be the network. For each node, we count how many 
the women throughout the whole textbook, the frequent increase rate. Okay? This is a homogeneous one, and this is a non homogeneous one. We, we can quantify this kind of non uniformity by the difference between the diagonal line, diagonal represents the uniform curve, and the diagonal line and the, the frequent curve. This is defined as a static uniformity. Okay? So here we are plotting the, the, for each sheet node, the scale plot of frequency and the non uniformity, and the red represents uh, the physical terms of the, in, in the test group, and uh, they are scattered of all of the this pen. And uh, the magenta represents a randomly shuffled test group. For the original test group, we randomly shuffling the ordering of the pen heads. Then the frequency, the occurrence is uh, that become rather uniform. So they are uh, line from here. This line, this side, represents the most for each frequency, the most uh, the most uh, frequent, the value of non-uniformity when the when the uh, the nodes are fitting uniformity. This is the minimum line. So for the random textbook, the non-uniformity is very close to the minimum line. And uh, this kind of non-uniformity could be also characterized by the inter-event interval distribution. Interval between event. Here event is the occurrence of a physical term in the textbook. Typically, this kind of random process we expect the Boston distribution. Boston distribution, the interval decays exponentially in time. Okay. But actually, for this kind of textbook, the interval the, the, the interval shows the first decay. For certain period, the volume rate is very high. But we have a long period without the volume. So in this case, inter distribution is how it decays. Okay. This is the region. Again, the slope is about 1.5 for all textbooks. Here we have presented the result of random textbook and of the dictionary. This is the part of And another feature of the feature of the textbook plus is it has a time correlation. So here we are matching <coughs> sentence to sentence time correlation. It is defined by the, the number of overlapping physical terms between two sentences separated by time interval t. Okay? And it shows for three textbooks the correlation function decays in power. Okay? So it has long range time correlation. Long range time correlation. This is an important issue of the textbook. But in case of additionally, the behavior is part of the term. Typically, what I term in physics dictionary, it is described by the about 10, 10 sentences. So within 10, 10, 10 sentences, the correlation is preserved, but beyond that, okay, the correlation is completely lost. Also, in case of a random textbook, the correlation is lost. Okay. So, how can you understand this kind of behavior? So, this one here. Yeah, Baramasi tried to understand this has human behavior dynamics. For example, in, in recent two papers, two papers, he analyzed the, the correspondence patterns of the Darwin and the Einstein. And this is the time of the uh, birth of Darwin. And then he received a lot of records. And then he designed that one represents the type of his response, and this is the state of Einstein. And then he analyzed time interval between the receiving data and the asking data. And the type for the 
So the time interval, the distribution shows this type of uh, power decay. Okay, this type of power decay. So this, this is very closely related. He tried to explain how this kind of behavior can be generated. Actually, this kind of behavior could, could be obtained in large, large of human behavior. For example, uh, the frequency of Frequency of the metal printer up. What is the interval of between two printing? <laughs> and uh, sometimes we are boring uh, goods from the library. What is the uh, interval distribution? All of these, these yeah, data, human behavior data, shows here something like this. How this can be, can be obtained? Okay. He explained this kind of human behavior analysis. But 
In this case, the problem is it has not shown any time correlation. This is a textbook, and this is the result of the method for that. It does not provide any any time correlation. So, so in case of a memory model, the selection probability time is the here how that change time interval between present sentence and previous one. So at this one, the selection power of the most recent one is higher. And okay, so R of less than but the smaller one it is a random. So it is a very like previous case, which is that R very small, and this one and this one. Then R is a very high. In this case, we have a strong bias for the most recent one. In that case, okay, for short time interval, we have a very high time correlation. Okay, but for long time, the correlation is very, very rapid. So it's just a discrimination. Why? We have a sequence of a sentence, okay, and the new sentence is connected to the old sentence by sharing some thought. But sometimes we have a new sentence without old concept. Sentence with just new concept. Okay? Then the sequence of the sentence is interrupted. Okay? Because of this one, okay, time, time duration is deformation. Also, because of that, and then after the bad day, the system size does not grow much. Okay? So instead, when R equals one, the first one, we have a good time correlation behavior and the power in the in the event in the distribution. But the problem, the system size is much smaller than the network. So let me summarize this. The network provides scale key. Very nice connectivity. And the memory model provides long time correlation. So, combining these two, actually, when it like, we utilize both strategies. So, the real test could be explained by the combination of these two. So, this weight, WM, we are selecting this one, and this WM, number weight, we are selecting this one. Then we could explain most of the properties of textbook. So now we have we have constructed mathematical model describing the textbook. So now we have to know what is the effect of a Nazi network structure on the learning efficiency. Okay. What is the, the relation between learning efficiency and the structure. For that, we are using the having house forgetting curve. The capacity of the learning, it depends with exponentially. So we adopt this model for the for the weight of link. So the link link weight uh, increase with introduction of uh, a camera, it increases then it decays exponentially. So this will be accumulated this time. When the accumulated weight crosses a special value, then we are assuming that this is the, on the lambda scale. Okay. So I here I'm showing some some moving meaning in the, the process of learning. But instead of presenting texture. I will present the sum and write down. In case of a textbook learning, the large system is from gradually, okay, starting from home, okay, gradually distant. But in case of a dictionary learning, okay, sometimes it learns very, very intermittently. So period it was, it learns a, a it grow and uh, then uh, as a learning the another group that the previous one is a uh, forgotten. So in this case, 
has been learning before, gradually, that uh, this sound, you can understand what I'm meaning, but unfortunately, we don't have sound. So, dictionary learning is very like this one, that one time we have a one item is a lot of parts uh, as a lot of other items the previous one is forgotten, something like that. And uh, then we analyzed, analyzed the community structure like this one, how the community structure is evolving in time. Okay, this is the result of uh, analysis of the time and community structure. Here I am adding the size of a community and the vertical, vertical direction, the lifespan of the community. <laughs> so in case of a cash flow, we have a kind of big community lasting for a long time. Okay? Of course, there are lots of a small community that is short here. But in case of a dictionary, we have a very big community. But they are lasting very short. Okay. And to test what kind of properties contribute to this kind of good memory and good learning. We tested this uh, as not more than this because. Okay. So in case of a memory model, our first zero has that large Definitely, but it has a very big time progression. So in that case, in that case, the first size is quite big, but the duration time is very short. Okay. But in case of a very large alpha, it has a very short time progression and a small density. So both T and S is really small. Okay, like this one. But when R is a round one, it has a long time progression and also very large maximum degree. So in this case, we have a very large P and okay, very large. So here we are plotting the size of the P is the plus, and here also the duration time. As you mentioned, the, the plus size decreases with R bar, but the duration time increases at first. Then decrease better because of the method I have mentioned. So the maximum capacity of learning could be obtained at this point. This point is a real. It has a both long time correlation and a very large maximum degree. So fortunately for the textbook I introduced they all have long time correlation and a very large maximum degree. This is the reason why it could make my learning efficient. So, um, so we can utilize this kind of property to optimize 